pretty. That's from the Z-Max Dragway, Charlotte, North Carolina, where we are going for wine in the business MyrtleBeach.com National. Now, this group will only be three. Terry Saney, Chris Karamasinis, and Pat Dakin. This is the first time that we've seen the Greek out on the line. He didn't come out for the first session, and so he's trying to get into the field. When you talk about some experience on the starting line. Now, Terry Sandy's very experienced down in Australia, although they don't run a whole lot of races. Now, you take Pat Dakin and the Greek, there's a lot of years of experience right there. The standings in top fuel in this, the second session. Larry Dixon is number one. His teammate, Del Worsham, is number two. Tony Schumacher, Spencer Massey, third and fourth. Bob Vandergrift is rounding out the top eight. They go to the bottom, AC Brandon Bernstein, that number nine spot. Antron, 10. Sean Langdon, 11th. Don Magana, he's on the bump spot with only an 8.24 elapsed time. And so... And Chris Karamasini's make it into this show. Dakin and Santi already are. Whoa, big fire lights up there for the Golden Greek. <laughs> Parts and parachutes everywhere. Now, he should be able to get it stopped. It's a long, long track here. Yeah, I mean, it burned the parachutes off, and it's uh, not only is it a long shot. It already scrubbed a lot of speed, though. Yeah, I mean, the, the chutes came out, and it's also very smooth, which is very key for the fuel cars, because once you get them bouncing, it's hard to settle that car down. If it doesn't bounce, and since the track surface is smooth, with any problem for the Greek, uh, he's done this before. As you can see, lights it up big time, gets the chutes out. Well, I don't know, he didn't get much of an impact. I think they burned off it's pretty much as soon as they but still, like we said, decent amount of shutoff here and very smooth. Look at him, hike the front end. Now the Greeks are making some pretty good passes. This is the first time we've seen him have some engine problems in a while. Uh, you see the cylinders out right over there, and that led to uh, you know pushing out the head gaskets and uh, other parts and pieces out the backside of that that fire, and uh, slowed them down. But that did get the Greek into the field at 11th. Look at that, yeah. I think he just drove it until he got to the finish line. He didn't care <laughs> if it only had three or four cylinders. He was taken to the finish line. Well, that, that gamble paid off for him. And so now, there on the left side of your screen, that's Morgan Lucas. Next over is Terry McMillan. And then Dominic Lagana and Bob Vandergriff. Now let's go back and look at the super slow-mo with Chris Karamasini's. Almost looks like his eyes are closed. Yeah, I have a hard time believing if his eyes are closed. But I can tell you one thing. When you have a major explosion, the concussion, my eyes would close or I would close them, and then you'd focus after you come out of it. Well, if in fact they were, we're talking super slow-mo, and so that is really extending the timeout. It may not have been a whole second. The Greek, the Greek can just drive these things with his eyes closed. Let's go to Dave Reef. Yeah, he's just that good. You know, from my perspective, something I've never experienced before. I was standing right here between lanes two and three. The Greek was in lane three, and as that car took off down the racetrack and exploded, well, thanks to the right front quartering win for about 20, maybe 25 seconds, it got at least 10, maybe 15 degrees warmer. That car was on fire. Dave, we had a chance to talk to the Greek when he got out of the car. He surveyed the damage, said, yeah, we've got the parts. We'll get it fixed. I said, Greek, I'm curious. I heard that maybe you did some four-wide racing a long time ago. Yeah, 1959, he thinks, twice at Rockford, Illinois. That was only 52 years ago. <laughs> Great little piece of information there. 